Hey folks, real quick, this is another one of those which would you keep if you were me videos that I like sometimes post on the personal channel. Here's a holster. <laughs> this is about the Italian Beretta model 1935. I've had this one for a little while, maybe 10 years. And this one just came in last month. I'm debating which one to hang on to. They're very similar in date times. This is maybe a 44. And this is, uh, I think, about a 46 made with wartime parts. The biggest, most obvious difference, this has a phosphate style finish and a little bit more visible tool marks. This one has a blued finish and is a little bit smoother overall. This one has the finger rest less mag in it. This one has the finger rest. Of course, these are both in 32. It's the 34 that's in 380. So here's this one. I'll show you the top here. And bottom. Grips. Egg strap. Yeah. And here is this one. Top. Remember, this one's blued, so it might be a little shinier. Bottom. Front strap. Back strap. As far as the actions, hammer back. These are single action only. These guns are not known for great triggers. I would say this one does have a little bit better. Get a little bit more take up but then a slightly lighter break this one has very little take up but then a harder break let's see about racking the slide that you see in there barrel action pretty normal of course these hold open on the mag so this one didn't just to spite me it's a mag issue there we go just how the mag follower interacts. Let's take the mag out. We'll stand forward. Take the mag out of this one. Well, that's a little harder to do with the finger rest, come to think of it. <laughs> Should have thought that better. Okay, let's try a different tack here. Let this go. Now take the mag out. And it's still sticky. I'm not sure why. Hmm. There we go. It's the mag catch. I think it's a little sticky. Let's see if this mag is the reason that's not holding open. That held open. Yeah, it's the mag catch on this one. It's a little sticky. So that one's got a mag catch. Let's see if this one holds open. On a mag. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, just how that mag and everything interacts. So here are the mags, if you can tell anything about them. If you can, let me know. And the floor plates here. So yeah, the guns themselves. So what do you think? Which one do you think is more interesting? And any thoughts on either mag? Yeah. Anyway, if anyone has an opinion, feel free to share it. Any information about these, 
based on the serials, anything you might recognize in the small proof marks, please do let me know. Sometimes Berettas have the tiniest, teensiest proof marks. And more importantly, which would you keep? These aren't high dollar guns, but I really don't need two. So, I'll keep one, let one go. Why not? I appreciate you helping out, folks. Please feel free to comment below. Let me know. This is Misha, and I'll catch you soon next time.